Hello, hello. What's up, Ray? How's it going? Who else do we have out here right now? Me. Teague. Hello, Teague. Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. Happy, hopefully happy Monday, everybody. Sleepy 24 7, welcome back as well. Hello. I apologize again, uh, but uh, Sleepy, who, what is. You're in game. You are. Um, I'm blanking right now. Uh, I just don't want to mess up the name. I need to start jotting these down just to make sure I get everybody's uh, counterpart names correct. That dumb werewolf. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the stream as well. Yeah. Ife. Okay. Yeah. That's right. All right. Beautiful. Okay. I got to jot it down now. My apologies, Ife. Just um, you know, meeting, meeting, been meeting many, many people lately, so my uh, the wires get a little crossed. Uh, trying to remember everybody. Do you prefer in Twitch here if I refer to you as Ife or do you want me to refer to you as like sleepy or something? Do you have a preference? <gasps> Gasp! Rem! Hello! <laughs> Welcome back to the stream. Ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna start perusing some items here. What do we got? Do -do -do. No preference. Okay. I will... I'll go all flip-flopping all over the place then with that name. Or whatever makes the most sense at the time, I think. How's everybody doing? Building with me in the background? Perfect, yeah. I think like first and foremost, I usually refer to these streams as kind of like a build with me energy. Did anyone else here watch? Um, do you guys watch like, uh, you know, I don't know, study with me or like draw, draw with me kind of streams? You know what I'm talking about? Like, I feel like there's a, a good amount of content creators on YouTube or even on Twitch maybe, who do stuff like that, right? Where they'll be, be like painting or studying or something like that. And it's kind of like, they're not really even talking to you. Like in my case, I'm talking to you, but like, I think in many people's cases, they're kind of just doing their thing. But the whole point is just to kind of have that little bit of company, a little bit of cozy atmosphere. Um, or it's, I mean, it's similar to also putting on like a lo-fi beats and chill kind of playlist, putting on rainy mood in the background. Um, but, uh, you know, something like that. Does anyone else, anyone else do that? Because I know I certainly do. Raise his, raise his hand. Slash hand raise. Um, do we have that? Do we have like a just raising your hand? As if you're like asking a question or something? Or like, just like me. Is that, a, is that an emote that exists in the game? Dumb werewolf saying, uh, um, I'm gonna call you werewolf, I think. Um, 
Uh, I'm living, I'm living vicariously through you right now, Noah. My cooling pump died on me last night. Oh no! Uh, I, I assume cooling pump meaning the cooling pump for your PC, so it like will overheat and thus you probably can't be watching Twitch and playing 14 at the same time. I'm guessing that's what you mean, right? You're on your phone? Oh, oh, so like 100% just like computer gone. I see. Oh, well, I hope that you are able to get a new cooling pump quickly. Is that the kind, is that thing, is that the sort of a uh, component that is easy to acquire? PC too powerful, too strong. I mean, so I've never, I don't, I haven't owned a PC in a long, long time. And I've never built one, so I don't know what it's like sourcing parts for PC. Although I'm getting curious because, as I think many of you know, I'm a little uh, tied up on on CPU power um, based on my current setup, which is beautiful for what it was intended for, but not for gaming and streaming. Um, so I am very strapped on resources too. So I've been, I need to look into getting a proper streaming gaming PC um, and, and I think, I know a lot of people have mentioned that the easiest, cheap, or not the easiest, the cheapest method, and that lets you customize as you build your own. Well, I don't know even the first thing about that. Billy! Welcome back to the stream. Hello, Billy. How's it going? Make this window a little bigger. Is that big? Holy hell. Okay. Yeah, that works. Ba -ba -ba. That's a little too big, actually. I need to I need to scale this back down. Let's go. There we go. That's a little that's a little more manageable. <laughs> Uh, we're still kind of warming up here, letting people pop into the stream and everything, but I'm just starting to peruse through the items here at the NPC vendors, just because today, um, if you guys saw the stream title, today I'm going to be doing another build where I'm going to build something out of only the NPC vendor items, ideally. Uh, not, not ideally, I'm going to limit myself to building with only the NPC vendor items. And, um... I have no idea what I'm going to do, so I thought today would be kind of fun uh, to once again just go through these and like pick something and then just run with it and just see how far we could push it, you know? Um, so I don't know exactly what we're going to make. Um, well, I think that'd be kind of fun. I thought that'd be kind of fun. Just spontaneous creativity, you know? And just see what comes of it. And I figured that a fun way to start this would be to just kind of look through the items and just see if anything sparks my interest, you know? Like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, what could we do with that? Um, so, hold on, let's see, pull up. Uh, Well, it's liquid cool. So that werewolf saying, well, it's liquid cooling. Have a new pump coming in Wednesday. Oh, okay, so not too bad. So pretty quickly you can get it a whole bit back and running. Billy's saying, I got a new PC last year, ended up just buying pre-built because of how hard it was to find parts at the time and doing well. Well, I'm glad you're doing well, Billy. And uh, yeah, no, I know what you mean. I feel like it's maybe saves you some money. And like, again, you can customize it to custom build a PC but sourcing all the different parts and also like for example for myself where i don't really even know the first thing about buying pc parts i feel like potentially the amount of headache that i might present myself researching and trying to like weigh out all the different pieces might end up making it not worth it versus just like buying pre-built um just because like i'm the kind of person where when i build something custom right whether it's my graphic design work, you know, st stuff for the stream, or whether it's building even something in housing, 
generally speaking, I am like, I'm, I mean, I think I'm a perfectionist to a fault, right? Like in terms of like, I will agonize over this or that, like, is it, should it be this color red wire or a little bit this color red? Oh no, maybe that texture is not quite right. And I will wax back and forth forever trying to create like the optimal hyper custom bespoke looking thing. And I feel like I could easily rabbit hole myself for like a month doing that for PC stuff. Where I'm just like, oh, I like the fan, the, the way this fan looks a little bit more, but it's a little more expensive. I got to research, is it actually, you know, does that actually match up to the other fan spec wise? Is it worth it? And instead just kind of be like, okay, company, blah, blah, blah. Here's a thousand dollars. Give me a pre-built PC that works for what I want to do. Like go, you know, I think, is that, is that the way? Uh, I feel I did the same, but I got a faulty pump that barely survived through my warranty. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, at least you're getting a new one now. That can be a running... I, I, that This can be a great running topic for this stream. Um, I'd love to hear people's thoughts on building PCs or like... I don't know. Do you... I mean... It, if you can... Okay. If, if... I'd love to have more information on PCs... If you can like put it at like, tell me like I'm a third grader level, you know, like, because I know you can get really nerdy and like really techy about this really fast where you're going to throw a bunch of numbers and stuff like the RZ, blah, blah, you know, such and such. Um, if, I guess if you're if you're listing parts, that's fine. But like, I don't know. I, I am not like a tech electro engineering whiz or anything. So if you start talking about like the amount of this and that voltage that you'd need to optimize this, 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 I won't know what you're talking about. But if you can tell me like I'm a third grader or something like that, you know, uh, like kind of the dumbed down version of maybe like where to start looking for PC parts or like where to if, if there's like go to companies that people go to to, I guess, source pre-built PCs. Um, you know, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of curious to hear people's, some people's input about this. And it sounds like we have a couple people who are kind of knowledgeable about this. So, why not... Why not source from friends, right? <clears throat> Let's see... Oh, the wooden table would be interesting to do something. I've seen a lot of people do... So I'm going back, back to our topic of the day, which is building with NPC-only items, so... Trying to think of something that'd be interesting and kind of different. So last time we built with NPC items only, we made the Scholastic Library, which is sort of like a Charlian meets um, Gridanian kind of uh, library lounge thing. So let's not do anything like that and let's do something totally different. Um, now, what can we do that would be totally different? Uh, so one idea could be um let's see there's like this idea of yeah using maybe the wooden table and making some kind of like a really wooded like a wooden structure of some sort like a wooden hideaway but then again i don't know like i'm not sure um, how do I put this? If I have enough green or greenery only using NPC items to do like a full on immersive thing with the, just the wooden table. But I mean, I guess that's maybe that's part of the challenge. That's part of the charm of it is that we're trying to like make stretch it and see how far we can push it. Despite the fact that we're going to be pretty limited. Okay, so that's an idea using the wooden table. Um, let's see, partitions. What kind of pillars? Let's see. Oh, da, 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 da. There's the ivy. That's not the same thing. I, I need the ivy curtain, not the mural. There's this brick idea. So you could use a brick interior wall and make kind of like an industrial type stuff. Um, Newegg is an awesome PC hub for parts. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know some friends have talked about that. Sourcing parts from Newegg. Uh, that could be cool. Yeah. Um... Does, does Newegg, though, Newegg is like if you're buying, 
was a wholesale. Like if you're buying all the parts separately, I think, right? <laughs> Versus if I'm um, wanting to just um, make, yeah, I mean, if I if I want to just uh, get a pre-built, I guess. I don't think New Egg is the place to get pre-built, right? Oh, here's an idea. So. Another interesting thing we could do is, I was looking at this Riviera bookshelf, which I know has a lot of like cool metalwork on the back. So I've used this before. Um, let me let me just show. I think show show is better than tell, right? Um, so in terms of this, right? So having this bookshelf, there's this really cool metalwork on the back here, right? And I know I've used this before in my previous bar build. Like, I, the books are also really nice and everything, but um, I really like all the metal, this, the metal bits that stick out for this. I've used this, I use this in the speakers for Ichi. I use this um, in my bar builds, like just these rails and stuff. So one thing that'd be kind of interesting is trying to see if we can make like a, a spaceship or metalwork type shop or like a, 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 a maybe a, an apartment using only the NPC items. Because I know, I mean, obviously we can make that with, with when we use every kind of item, but I do wonder, now that I remember that this is, a, this is actually a vendor item, I wonder if there's something cool we could do with this and the metal railings and stuff and really make some interesting patterns using just this as our base. Um, that's actually a pretty cool idea. I, I've never, I don't know that, I've never really done complex metal work before. And I feel like we could do that between just dyeing stuff to, to make it look like metal and then using this as actual metal work. That could be pretty cool. What else do we have that would work as metal work? Um, I think cupboards. I mean, because we might have to really just push this, but this thing is so in, like, this has so many interesting angles and like rotations on this that I do feel like there's a lot we could do with just this alone. I think that could be pretty cool. I think I might run with that. That sounds more feasible. I, like the wooden table idea is really also very cool. Perhaps we'll do that in a future build. But I kind of like this idea of trying to make a metalwork laboratory of some sort um, using only the NPC items and just see what we can do. As I'm step, I'm just kind of again glancing through what else we have. Log pillar. Oh, the log pillar isn't a crafted thing. That's cool. Well, that actually makes me think that we could do something more with the um, the wooden uh, table, but maybe keep that in mind. Um, scatter documents. Astronauts come map. So I'm just like going. I'm gonna go through this really quick. Uh, I think these are not quite what I'm looking for. Oh, level one etheric ether stand. That could be interesting in our laboratory here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Glade pots. I kind of wish in the item preview, you know, um, disordered wardrobe, ingen pillar. I kind of wish that in the um, the item preview that we had the ability to filter by NPC items. Like here, if we preview the indoor items, I wish they would give us a little section here. Hey, Square Enix, if you're listening, give us a little section here that has a couple basic filters. Like, you know, um, fil filter me by like, uh, you, um, not, not style, because that's kind of subjective, but like NPC vendor items only. Um, you know, quest quest rewards. Um, you know what I mean? Like, or maybe even by zone or something like that, like location. I don't know, that'd be really cool. And I think it'd be really, especially being able to filter by only NPC items or only maybe like MSQ items. That'd be really useful for a lot of people. And I think especially like new folks for exactly the kind of build that I'm trying to go for right now. Okay. Um, yeah, let's run with this. Let's let's try to see if we can make something very metallic and very maybe like a spaceship kind of thing. Workshop, spaceship, I don't know. Garlean Ironworks. A la a la Dividus kind of vibe. 
Alora, um, Alora also has done a lot of really cool work with the spaceship stuff. Yana. Okay, I'm going to channel my inner Alora, Div, Yana maybe today and see if I can make something cool with this. And this is what I mean by um, using the metal stuff. So what I mean by that is um, you take this, right? And it's kind of like a bookshelf, but if you just push it through the wall, then you only get the metalwork stuff. See there? And then now you have metalwork that you can use. And I think that'd be really cool um, to, to explore that a bit. Yo, what's up, Clips? Welcome back to the stream. Um, and uh, Werewolf saying, yeah, they can choose they have, or they have pre-built there while I was browsing. Okay. I'll have to take a look then at, at Newig again and, and see about that. I don't, yeah. Building the world of custom built PCs is such a, um, a rabbit hole. An interesting rabbit hole, mind you. Oh, and um, for anybody who was also on the previous streams, the EK Bana ones, the VODs for that are actually now live on my YouTube channel. So if in case you're interested in rewatching those where I built this setup, um, or where I was, we were coming up with this setup, the both streams, because it was done in two parts, they're both live on my YouTube channel now. And if anybody is curious, like how it ended up, basically, um, it's this, basically, it looks like this, which doesn't look like a lot until you turn the lights down. And then I think it really pops and you can really see what I'm going for here. Um, it's this very elegant, you know, looking Japanese, sort of almost Zen minimalism kind of vibe, right? Ike Bana is the art of uh, Japanese flower arrangement. And just to show you like how this ends up in sort of like a, like, the way I picture this is it's like an art piece, right? So it's less of like a full, much less like a full build and more like a key uh, shot in like an, a magazine or something. And um, here, I, I took a screenshot of this. I'm going to put now over top of the gameplay. So this build that we made ends up with a screenshot that looks something like this, right? So you could see how um, this could easily, like you could see a title, title card on the left side there with like some lettering like EK Bana, blah, 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 Japanese arrangement, something like that, you know, in, in a magazine or on a website or something like that, right? So that's what I was going for with this build is this key like hero shot that I wanted to really just make like a beautiful statement piece. Um, so yeah, and in case, in case I know some people were maybe popped in and out of the previous EK Bana streams and maybe it wasn't obvious like where it was going to end up um, unless you like stayed all the way to the end. So anyway, this is kind of where it ended. It ended up looking like this, this this key hero shot that I got. So um, pretty cool. I thought I think it turned out pretty well. I think it definitely captures the spirit of what we were going for there. So. Yo, what's up, Liara? How are you? Okay, let's... I'm gonna actually leave the Ikebana thing there. I don't even think we need to move it. Um, Billy's saying, uh, I don't know if you ever saw Divis Garlean hangar build, but that was definitely like an all-time goat housing build. Yeah, Billy, no. Um, Billy, I, I know we didn't really connect like back during the time when this was happening, but I like, I... I um, I remember you from the HGXIV streams and stuff. And I remember when I first jumped into HGXIV, their streams, that one of the first ones I ever jumped into was uh, they had, I think Div, they mentioned Div's Garlean hangar build. Um, I think he called it his Iron Garlean Ironworks workshop. I actually talked about it in, um, I did a stream about a month ago now where I talked about the builds that inspired me, which is also on my YouTube again, um, in case any, in case you want to go watch that. Uh, and one of the builds I talk about is, I think we're talking about the same build, Billy, but it's Divs that, that Garlean hangar build, um, where he has, he first built like the elevator and, um, he did all the metal work on the ceiling and everything. And I feel like that was one of the, yeah, I think. That was one of the first times that anyone in the community really went like all in on the metal work kind of thing. 
And I think it really he that build probably really set the stage for a lot of like what has now come after it, all the spaceship builds and everything. Um so that's that's super cool. And like man, yeah, in a lot of ways I think like a lot of Div's work has really inspired and set the foundation for a lot of people in, in a lot of different ways. Also, okay, here, I'm going to just grab a couple of these. So, again, what we're going to do is we're going to use this. Okay. And we're going to start making patterns here. Okay. So this is, this is usually how I go about this, right? Is you start, you come up with an idea, right? Like a rough, okay, I kind of know the vein of where I'm going to take this. So in this case, we're going to go with metalwork, like um, either like a, a shop work, uh, laboratory or something like that, right? We're building it with only NPC items. And the first things first is I kind of want to figure out like what's the key foundational elements here. And in this case, I think it's going to be mostly using these bookshelves, right? So let's start by putting these down. And just starting to see like what patterns we can make, right? And what I mean by this too is, so if we take like this, right? Okay, so if we start doing these things, what are, what are we making? Ah, there we go, right? Like this, there's a pattern, there's a different take on it. But if we start going like this, okay, now we got something interesting, right? We don't see all this books and stuff poking through. So now we're starting to get like continuous metal work. Okay, so now we could see how this could be the walls of our metalwork laboratory. Should I update the stream title maybe? Um, so people know what we're making. Uh, metalwork uh, laboratory? I don't know, what do, you, what do we call this? Metalwork laboratory? Metalwork shop? Um, labora laboratory, metalwork laboratory? Question mark? I don't know. I'm gonna update it like that, and we'll see how this uh, works out. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Look at that. Um. That like the red sun. Okay, hear me out. Uh, Tatooine, you know, anyone else see that? Like, I feel like um, there's a, okay, this is, we're not going to do this today, but I see just, just seeing the red orb there and glowing like that makes me think, oh yeah, someone can do a, a Tatooine sunset looking thing using this um so for all you star wars fans out there i don't know there's an idea for you give me a build your coolest uh tatooine sunset with something like that um but okay we're not gonna do that today uh we gotta just we're gonna keep running with what we have right now okay let's experiment though let's what else could we do with these um, sometimes, sometimes, this is the obvious one. You make the metalwork railings all the way around. Um, but I kind of wonder, okay, so what would happen? Okay, oh, there's cool, okay. There's an interesting idea. We can use this to make curves in the wall. So if you rotate like that, right, we can get this thing to bend around the corner. Um, so... Right? Can get it to do this. There you go, right? So you can have like a really cool looking bend in the wall. Very subtle, but I think that could be really interesting. And then maybe if you put a couple walls there, you could get the wall to warp around the side too. Or perhaps the wall just, it does terminate actually, right? Like maybe it doesn't actually need to bend, it could just terminate, uh, yeah, let's see what this looks like. Okay, hold on, da, 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 da. what do I have? Stage panel, there we go, stage panel. Okay, so if the wall just stops, I 
mean, I think, oh, I think that still looks pretty cool. I just need to, I just need to hide that little bit there. There we go. Yeah, that still looks pretty neat. Even if it is, it has that tiny little bit there. You could dye. Can we dye this furnishing color? Um, the metal work won't die. So if we dye this red, it'll disappear, right? There you go. Boom. There it goes. Blends right into the wall. You won't even notice. But you get that really subtle, nice little curve there that you wouldn't normally get. Which makes me think that you could actually string a couple of these together and make an even wider curve. If you put like a couple of these just a little offset from each other, then you might be able to make like a big curve. Looping around like a little alcove or something. That could be interesting. Yeah, Liara, um, are you talking about the Tatooine thing? Um, I know because you've done some windows and stuff like that, so maybe you could maybe you can make something with that. Source some some Star Wars fans and, and build something. Metallurgy Laboratory says werewolf. Yeah, yeah, that's one way you could put it. Yeah. Um, Billy, of course. Oh yeah, we so we are talking about the same. I think build. Let me let me see. Did you link it over in the? Uh, did you link it? Yeah, we are totally talking about the same thing. Yep. In case anyone uh, is is listening in and is not in my Discord, there's a, there's a link to join the Discord if you'd like, where we're talking about this. Um, it's in the housing section, in, under chat. I guess I I can link to also my um, the the little build where I talk about this. Let me see if I can grab that really really quick. I think it should be fast. Cause yeah, I like gushed about this build um, during the this this stream. Um, let's see. I think I have a timestamp for it and everything. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? Um, if... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here, I got it. So in case anybody um, is interested in, in knows what, knowing what we're talking about. So right now, since we're experimenting, um, here, wait, let me see. Yeah, so, uh, so we're doing like this metalwork thing right now here. Um, you try, I'm trying to recreate something similar or not, not necessarily exactly, but I mean, trying to see if I can do this with only NPC items. But um, a big inspiration, I think, for a lot of the metalwork things that people do in the game, especially like, I, and, and I know like stuff that I did even with Ichi and with Prominence, some of it was generated from looking at this build that Div, Dividus uh, Liaster did of which I talk about it um, in that stream that I just linked. The VOD is there on my YouTube. Um, and it's definitely a build that inspired me very early on because I was like, whoa, oh my gosh, you can do that? That's amazing. I had no idea, you know? Um, like it's it's really, it's just so crazy what people, what people come up with. And Div is like a great example of just absolutely um, I think can blowing a lot of people's minds in terms of like what you can do. Okay, I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of these so that way we can really just go crazy with this and just see what happens. I'm also going to just not even, uh, we eventually can remove the Ikebana thing, but I kind of, I mean, I don't know, I like it. So I'm not gonna touch it too much. 
So I'm going to try to... Um, I'm only going to build in like the front half of this because that also will free up, I think, a good amount of space. Or not space, but like slots, right? We won't have to worry about filling this whole room with slots. I think you can just walk in and it can only be in the front half of this room. There's no need to push ourselves to extend this to the whole room when I think actually the point of a lot of a immersive and laboratory build is that it should feel a little bit cramped. Like it shouldn't feel super spacious, right? So I think that'll actually work to our advantage. Um, oh, I realized too that this is not an NPC item. This is from the gold saucer. Technically, it's an NPC item. That's pretty easy to get. Um, but I do wonder if there is any kind of a ceiling lamp that could work really well for what we're going for here. That is part of just NPC basic stuff. Da, 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 da. Oh, and the walls too. Let's see if we're not going to try not to craft anything. Lily Hills. Arbor. Lily Hills flooring. Country flooring? That could be interesting. Arbor flooring. White marble. Marble. That's kind of nice. Like a clean metalwork looking thing. Okay, Riviera pendants. Lamp. That's nice. It could be nice and simple. Deluxe lantern. Too fancy, too fancy, too fancy, too fancy. Just a little hanging... Uh, can't, what is it? Flame light is nice. It's too fancy. I don't like this idea of just having the little pendant light. But I don't know if you'd want open flame in a lab. A metalwork lab that seems kind of dangerous. Um, maybe more like this. Let's see. I'm kind of debating like whether we want to even show the chandelier. I'm guessing probably not. We're probably just going to block it off. So let's go with. Yeah, let's just let's just go with blocking it off. I'm not even going to deal with that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I think the Riviera beds too will give us a really nice looking. Ba -ba -ba. The Riviera, what was I going to say with that? The Riviera beds can give us a nice bed metted ceiling, potentially. Is this too small? That's a little too small. Let's lay the foundation, though. Let's just, let's just really quickly layer this out, and then we can feel out whether it's too big or small. Do, 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 do. I'm going to do this really fast, so that way we just don't eat up too much time with this. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Da, 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 right here, right here. Oh, what am I doing? I think giving this a little bit of a gutter outside here is good because then we can push stuff outside the walls. I think it might need to be one bookcase wider. Yeah, that'll make more sense. Like this. Okay. Yeah, because otherwise it's a little too cramped. But we want a little bit of a gutter here so we have some room to push some furniture outside the walls. Let's even these out. I need a flooring that has... This is hard to mark stuff out, so let's pick a flooring that really works to... Um, can we get a checkered flooring? That way we can use it as as spacing. That might work. Lily Hills. Is there anyone that's like checkered? Blade flooring maybe? Country flooring? That could work. The bisque flooring. Uh, perfect for the modern adventurer. Country fashion. What does this look like? You know what? I'll just buy it. Why not? Let's look. Let's just try all these. Okay. Remodel interior. 
What does that look like? Oh, okay. That's not quite right. Uh, country... Yeah, that could be interesting, but not quite right either, probably. Let's go with this for now. This is not totally what I want, but it's closer. And also lets us have a little bit of a marker of checkering. Okay, so I think... Is that one dead center? Is this little bit right in the center? Da, 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 da. Let's look. No, it's not. Where is the center? There's the center of the room. It's this one, this line. Okay. So this everything needs to evolve. Oh, I was right. Okay, never mind. Yeah. There we go. Let's repeat this pattern. See the little same spacer? Okay. So sorry, I know I am not reading the chat at the moment. Hold on. I will... I've not forgotten about you, chat. I'll be right there. One moment. Is that too small? That feels pretty cramped. Let's push this back. I think it is it is too small right now. Let's see. Okay, sorry. Let me look at the thing. Div's brain is massive. Yeah, Div's crazy. Div's, Div has a really cool creative brain for sure. Yo, what's up, Shadow Word Pain? Welcome back to the stream. The crafted monochrome forward is what you were aiming for, but there's no vendor equivalent. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Um, that's okay. We are going to make do with what we have. That's the whole, that's the whole, that's part of the fun challenge of this build is that we're going to, even though, yeah, there's like a lot of stuff here that would make it easier, um, easier on us. Oh, you know what? To make this super legit, I'm going to also make sure I'm using, okay, I'm going to use, even to build with, I will only use the vendor NPC items, right? So, um, I'm not going to use the Riviera wall shelf. I'm only going to use... Someone call me out if I accidentally use an item that's that's crafted or something, because I might forget. But we're okay, we're only gonna use the antique wall shelf. Okay. And then stage panels. And then we can use even to float stuff, we can use only the wooden um the wooden loft, the wooden round loft. So it's not crafted. The regular wooden loft, the square one, is crafted, but we're gonna use the round one, which I thought I had an extra one, but it's fine, we'll just grab one. Uh, what is it? Wall decorations, I think? They're all like next to each other, right? There it is, we're, they even know. Antique wooden wall shelf, round wooden loft, okay. There we go, okay, so that's our, that's our toolkit. It's just gonna be stage panel, antique wall shelf, round wooden loft. 100% going to be built using items from NPC vendor as well as um, using uh, using only NPC vendor items as mechanisms to do the glitches and stuff too. We're doing it legit. Okay. Uh, let's place these down. Got to figure out a door with this too. That'll be interesting to do. Okay. Da, da, da. Oh, let's see if we can push this push this out. Okay. So it's something like this. It's kind of messy. Oh. 
Let's push all this back out. Oh yeah, that works. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that feels much better, more spacious. Let's, do we need any of this? I'll place this. We'll lock these down. There we go. Okay. Now we have, basically our whole inventory is only gonna be over here. If I just store this. Okay, so now we can really nicely keep track. Let's bring these back to inventory. Okay. Partition shell shells this one. A couple more of these. Man. Imagine if these are crafted. Someone would be making a killing off me right now. What is everyone up to right now? Uh, do we have other people building out there? I know Ram mentioned earlier that they're building. Anybody else uh, building along with me right now? What are you all up to today? Can you click through these? You can, perfect. Okay, so we can actually get out the door. That's fun. And I feel like this actually makes a natural elevator right there, right? If we just go like this. Uh, let's see, wait, if we use, where's the white rectangular partition? Oh no, that's crafted, isn't it? Okay, but it's fine. We can we can figure a way to make it, diff make it do. But basically, if we do like, that you could do some kind of right there right that would be we could have an elevator an elevator door um use hanging brushes for the little buttons right here poking out yeah i think we might do something like that all you need to do is recess these two a bit right so go like Wait, I'm in furnishing. There we go. In furnishing. Push back. No, push forward. Push forward. Then panel. Flip. Put. Bum. Bing. Okay, now the door is like that. Right? Then we go here. Go like this. Flip. Uh, we need to make like a an uh, uh, a natural breakpoint for the door. Okay, so how can we do that? Oh, I just realized there's a shelf right here. Let's put this away. Place this. There we go. There, that's perfect. Now we have all this stuff we can just hide forever. Everything in here is only gonna be NPC vendor for the rest of this build, hopefully. If, I, if everything goes according to plan. Okay. Um, Liara, you're working on a commission. Okay. What, do you, what kind of commission are you working on? Are you allowed to tell us? If it's also working in some decorating, what do you... Let's see, an antique building here too. TLC, um, tender love and care for my... TLC, right? Tender love and care for my FC room. Working on bed meta at the moment. Ooh, okay. So you're kind of like tooling it up, like uh, polishing things up a bit. 
Teague, is this, um, wait, no, no, that was Nimbus, I think we went to see. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, uh, polishing up old builds and stuff. Shadow Web Pain, just fiercely note-taking. I'm grinding Mog Tomes because I'm a Sprout and need hair and emotes. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, that's cool. No, I mean, I, the Mog Tome event is great for that. I know I, the f when the first couple came out, when I first started playing, I ground the hell out of those tomes. Just doing the, doing the Praetorium even. Leveling and then also getting the tomes at the same time. Brilliant. Um... Okay, here we go. So we can... We can see the room taking shape, I think, right? So... There we go. See, we see we have our little box? Oh, and I like that with the little corners. With, like, the rounded corners. I think it adds a really cool little dynamic to it, don't you think? Just having that the little rounded bits to the corners. So now we have our box. Um... What can we do that would be really interesting with this box, though? Because it's a little basic right now. I think this is a good start. Um, but yeah, what, so... Ife, uh, Sleepy, what are you what are you decorating, out of curiosity? And Liara says, uh, Ishgardian goth theme for a Dark Knight main. That's cool. Interesting. I feel like the I've heard a lot like I've heard a lot of people bring up goth as like a theme lately. That's come up a couple times now in conversations where people have asked me about commissions or like if if I do that kind of work or um yeah, I, I don't know. Is goth like super in right? I mean, okay. I don't want to say like goth wasn't was ever out per se, but I mean like is is there is there any particular like thing that's like trending or something that's like causing so much interest in specifically the goth style right now um or is it just that there's just a lot of people who really like that you know always have always will um i could believe that too you know where wait the door is here da, 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 da. so i had these right bang on in the center right of the of the door okay so if i've set everything based off of these I'm just trying to mark out this room so it's exactly perfectly even on either side. I think I mostly have it, but it feels a little off somehow. I think it's one click off somewhere. There it is. This, this is the one. It should be like that. You have a little window right there. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. So it needs to be like this. How is that possible? Wait, how is this? Oh, it is like that. I see. Okay, um, that's fine. Let's see. So, huh, what could we do with this lab that would make it more interesting? We're at 50 slots right now, but that's also because there's a lot of stuff going on over here. Uh, I might have to just take it this down as much as I do like it in the back here. Actually... Okay, wait, you know what? Well, no, that wouldn't that would make it not an NPC only build. I was gonna say to do this. And then we actually work in our previous build into this, and then boom, right? We actually could make it where um this whole workshop actually leads up us to the artwork that we made the last time, like that. Because it actually lines up perfectly like that. Um, but I feel like that kind of defeats like what we were saying with building using NPC only items. Um, but okay, that's an idea. That's there's just an idea to keep in mind. Maybe we can see how far we can push the NPC only part of this. And then it just at the very end, you just open it up like this. Because that's actually really cool. I actually really like that. I think that adds a little bit of like life or something, you know? like. You could be in like a sterile laboratory, but then there's a little bit of greenery or something really elegant and artsy that makes it, softens it up and makes it very human, despite the fact that you're in such a cold steel kind of room. You know what I mean? 
I feel like that's a that's a thing that they often try, you know, doing like these Blade Runner kinds of movies or these um, cyberpunk stuff, right? Is you'll have this sort of very hyper sciency laboratory world, but then you'll have something to soften it up, like some kind of greenery. Because that looks pretty. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, that looks pretty cool. But um, at the same time, I do also, as I said, I think that that does a little bit eliminate this idea that we're building with only NPC items. So let's say, for for the sake of argument, let's say we don't we don't have that bit there for right now. I wonder what we can, how much we can do without that. Man, this makes me do want to do like the trick bookshelf. You go like this. Just be like, call it a day, you know, like that. <laughs> and then we could just build, build a roof in here. And then you go and then you go, oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Artwork. Hidden behind there. Oh, so Liara, yeah. So you've been, you've been hearing that too, right? There's like a lot of, um, a lot of requests for that. Shadow Word Paints, I wonder if it's a reaction to previous design trends. That's true. I wonder if it could be. Like, maybe... Not that Modern will be out or something like that, but I do wonder if, like, it could be something like something like that, right? Where, like, mo the, like, the very modern, clean look was very in for a long time. So I wonder if some people are kind of starting to think, like, oh, like, something that would be cool and different would be to go, like, the opposite direction and go, like, instead of, like, white or, like, what light browns, whites, really light and bright, what if we go flip the opposite direction and go like very dark, moody, goth kind of look, right? Because that's how the world works, right? Is in trends and you kind of, you correct one way and then you correct the other way. Oh, I kind of like how this naturally actually builds in some bookshelves for us too. Damn. Okay. You know what? Well, we might, even if I don't run with um, keeping this part, I do like this idea of having this, you know, like having it be a little cut in. I think that's very interesting. Like this, right? Like just having a little alcove or something. I think that that makes it much more dynamic and interesting, the room itself. As opposed to just like a box. Because, I don't know, we have there's enough boxes in the game, so let's do this. Um, I think just having the look cut out makes it much more interesting. Okay, so now what else can we add to our room here? Shelves, let's look through here. Bookshelves. I think we need to maybe like lay out some basic furniture just to start feeling out like how this can go. Floor mats, lanterns. What kind of uh, themes are you guys interested in? So, I, I mean, we just talked a little bit about that, that modern and goth exists, but like, are there any types of themes or trends or anything that you guys have been seeing pop up? Or heck, even if there's something's not trending, but you're just really into this a particular theme or a, a vibe or something. I'm curious, what do you, shout it out. I, I'd be curious to hear and we could talk about some of the, the aesthetics maybe, right? Aesthetics that people are into. Again, even if they're not trending, honestly, I, I wanna hear about them because sometimes that's really cool to hear about an aesthetic vibe that you are not even aware about, but then you're like, whoa, wait, no, this is totally my thing. I just looked in this tab. Let's look. Partitions, maybe? Mahogany screens. Mahogany screens have a metal edge to them. That's cool. Uh, marble, not quite right. Log, oh, maybe. White screens flip backwards for the wood. Could be really nice in some parts. Curved marble, probably not. Riviera, glade. Edges of the glade could work for corners. Uh, metal work here with um, the verdant partitions. We have some. I have some of those in my inventory. I think I can already get get those out. Cracked windows. Ooh, windows could be interesting. Flipping those backwards. 
Erzian maps. Brick. Brick interior. Industrial wall pipes. That'll probably use, be useful. That will probably be something we can use. Wall scrolls. Probably not. Wait, tables. Okay, tables. These could be interesting. What can we do with tables? What if we have a floating bar? Okay, wait, let's see here. So I like scholastic ta I think scholastic tables could work. Riviera dining tables could work. Voices desk. Not quite the right vibe. Alpine cabinets is too ornate. So like some scholastic tables. Search for item. Let's see. Do I have any? No. I I, I gotta have those in in here though somewhere. We used them earlier. Unless I give them to a different character, which is very possible. What do we have here? Here we go. Verdant shelf partitions. These are both from NPC, so I can use those. Open partitions, also from NPC. Let's just grab them, because we can use those. The glade vases are also available for us to use... And these fringe rugs. I don't think we need those. Okay, let's just see what happens. I don't think this is the right texture. Yeah, we could make this little cutout though. Using this. Um, that could be cool. To make a little counter. Maybe give a little space for someone to walk behind. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Like that. And then there could be like a little person here. I wonder if you could block this off with um, sideboards. Do we have an extra sideboard? Probably not. But let's see here. If we use ping in. Yeah, see like this? Then it could make a very nice looking counter. It's kind of far back though, but. Uh oh, how do I do this? Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Could do that. Same thing with the verdant shells. So anybody? No, no, uh, no design trends you guys are all into or aesthetics. I guess everyone's maybe hard at work building, huh? Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. Ooh, I like this. Wait, actually, the uh, the greenery that this adds, oh, that's so... Okay, okay. You love planty builds a ton, Mia Miyakota says. Love planty builds. So like organic, like uh, builds that just like full on forest kind of stuff. You might like what I'm thinking here then. So like here, here's what I'm thinking, right? It's like, so naturally without even floating anything, right? If we use these and we actually can hide them behind in the walls here, we can actually have this really cool running panel of greenery up top here. That could be really neat looking, I think. Um. And then we'll have like a fake ceiling maybe. But like, what if we had this running around the whole edge just to soften everything up, right? And there's this like running theme of sort of green running all the way around here. Put some lights in here. And I think that could make it really soft looking without actually having it need, need to be um, Let's see, or, or like this. You know, uh, what if, okay, okay, okay. Let's think about this. 
right? Like, what if you had like this? Okay, so what if you enter here and what if it's a shop? What if it's a bunch of shops? Okay, that's kind of, that's kind of different. Like if you walked in here and there's, it's like a bunch of shopkeep people that you're kind of interacting with. And then we can have this kind of running thread of, of green throughout the whole build as if it's overhang here. Kind of like that. And then maybe, yeah, maybe you are just walking into, it's like an end piece, uh, you know, like when you walk into a store in a video game and there's just like a bunch of counters and all you got, all you're doing is just talking to NPCs who are doing the, the vending. Cottage core, indoor Etsy market. Yo, what's up, Maple? Welcome back to the stream. Um, yeah, cottage core. Wait, so what defines cottage core? Like, what is the defining traits of cottage core? Is it, is it basically Miyazaki? Is it like Ghibli? Like, what? What's the difference between cottage? Like, just like straight up. I guess like I don't know, cottage aesthetic and then cottage core. You know what I'm talking? You know what I mean? Like, and me, a Miyakoto. Yeah, no, I I love that vibe too. I I feel like something that I'm very well. It sounds like maybe you're into like super straight up forest, right? Like straight up just like fairy fairy forest kind of thing. Um, so I guess maybe that is like. I think I, I I sometimes like where the forest feels like it's kind of bleeding into a build. Um, so are you more like are you yeah Mia are you are you like fairy fairy forest kind of vibe or are you like maybe like near you know where it's like city being reclaimed by nature you know and you, you know what I mean like how that's a little bit different right there's like this industrial reclaimed by nature kind of thing going on versus just straight up i'm in the forest or even like a lothlorien thing you know like lord of the rings the elves in the forest right lothlorien um built in the trees kind of thing man oh rivendell and lothlorien aesthetic is like <gasps> woo, that'd be cool actually maybe we could try that one day like trying to emulate the elf elven aesthetic not Elizin aesthetic, but like Lord of the Rings, Rivendell, Lothlorien kind of vibe. I don't know how you do that, but like, I mean, there's got to be a way. I'm sure, I'm sure we could figure it out. Okay, wait, let's just try to run with the, okay. Name of the game here is we're just going to keep running with whatever crazy ideas I pop into, pop into my head. So we're just going to keep building this out and out and out and out and just try not to stop basically um so that way we can hopefully get like a full build going here let's there we go okay it's going to texture glitch for a second it's going to bug the crap out of everybody but we're going to fix it in a moment okay so we do this okay but we're gonna here we're gonna fix okay can i fix this Oh, the, the count, the top is going to goof up, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Easy. We'll just offset this. Push this as far forward as we can. It's fine. Oh, wow. You can actually push this pretty far. Okay. Is it clamped? Just wait, should be right there. So the one wall is off. I'm looking at the tiles in the floor to match up the spacing here. So these bookshelves must be one click off somewhere. Which is fine, we'll fix that. Or maybe these are one click off somewhere. They're right there. They're too far. Uh, they're supposed to all be shifted up one. 
Okay, we'll fix we'll fix the spacing on a lot of this in a second. Let's just see where we're at. Okay, let's drop the lighting. Okay. So here we are. Okay, so now we have what could be a sunroof above us. Ooh, we could use the cracked windows that we have, put cracked windows all around the top and make light beaming down into this workshop um, using a sort of like open atrium up top here thing. And then we have our workshop thing down below. We have our N three NPC windows, uh, our elevator door to get up to here. Beautiful. Okay, I think that's our layout. Yeah, we're gonna run with that. Both are super good. I think like, so Cottage Core was huge in Animal Crossing. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Animal Crossing feels like exactly the kind of folks who would do um, that kind of thing. Think like old rural English towns, florals, softer tones, woodstone. I personally like Cottage Core mixed with clutter. Okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Think like um, old, old rural English towns. So I do feel like yeah, that Miyazaki does often, often hit on that kind of aesthetic, like a house. Oh no, house moving castle. The house in Totoro, right? Like the the houses they live in. Except it's that's kind of a little more Japanesey looking, but his version is like Jap Japan meets uh, English town kind of thing. But um, I think it's it's similar-ish in the vibe. Let's see. Da, 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 da. These are off. There it is. That's the one. Da, da, da. Yeah. Okay. So then, so we take this, and then what if we had windows all around? I gotta figure out what to do with this light. Um. But I'm thinking we go, let's see, where are our walls? Window. So we have the cracked arch windows. Actually, yeah, that's all we need, really. I mean, who cares what the other stuff looks like? Um, slanted skylights. Yeah, frankly, I don't really care um, what the other bits do. Let's see, cracked. Okay, let's just try a couple of these and see what happens. Right, so we could do this all around. It overlaps a little bit, is that better? Probably, yeah. Just make it like total sunroof sunroom what time are we at we're at 3 a.m right now okay so there's not going to be any light but we could see okay so put those all around yeah okay this is going to get all kinds of wacky with um what do you guys think yeah yeah no i think that looks what could be in the middle Um, I think we could move these in a little bit. Just make... I like this idea of pulling these even farther in, maybe. And then maybe this has to stretch. Because I like this idea of using the natural built wooden gutter here and not having to deal with these little red squares. Yeah, there we go. See? Kind of like adds like a natural. Oh, that's a little weird. Wait, hold on. One more click forward. Doesn't look natural. Maybe just the spacing on the... Uh... Uh, one, far, one click farther back? That looks weird too. Okay, one... Two. Oops. Oh, the camera is getting all kinds of crazy. Okay. 
Oh yeah, there you go. If they're not half windows, that's much better. Give me the give me the window. I want the window. Just the just the one. Really? Uh, I can fix this. Um, tilt camera one hundred. Boom. Easy. Okay. Oh, then we're going to have that showing. Okay, so maybe the key here is we're going to need to place from storage these a little lower. So that that... Yeah, 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 okay. I see what... See, because we don't want to see this little bit showing here. But if we place from storage, we can use the last little um, pane there before we see the the circular half dome part. So if we go storage, 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 storage. Cracked. Absolutely the same feel. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That Miyazaki, oh, that Miyazaki aesthetic. It's too good. So pro. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go just below the gutter line there. See, so what we want is right below that where the um, the rounded part happens at the top of that window. There is the little piece of wood that separates the last level of panes from the top there. And so what we want is to just use that little piece of wood to be the trim right there against the top of the ceiling. Right, so in our case, it'll be like that roughly. Right where it starts, there we go, like that. Place, confirm. Okay, and then we would keep going. I'm gonna probably have to move these windows anyway though, cause they're not gonna be quite where we want them. Firm. But yeah, see how that, oh, that, the natural wood of the ceiling makes a very nice natural break point right there. If we do it this way, that feels much more natural, I think. Actually, we could even push these up a little higher and move these a little bit forward just to cl really clean this line up. I really want this to be nice and clean looking. As opposed to this, where you see the little spacer part that doesn't feel very framed in. Or like that, where you really, you can really tell it's not framed in. Yeah, so we can clean this line up right there, clean it all the way around and make it look like it's really meant to be that way. If we push this far enough back, we can get that railing. Um, I don't think we need, to, we need to do that though. I think just the natural break point right there can work for our, can help us out. We could even float a, a partition. We could float a Hingen partition and use just the bottom wood part right along here to create the a similar gutter line or like um crown molding line that these wood pieces pieces are making. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, that's good. Are you working on building as well right now? Uh, 
Uh, werewolf, uh, you were talking with Kiss and Corin. Oh, okay. Um, what'd you miss? Uh, I don't know. Uh, where were you when you left? Um, I'm, so we're kind of going for like a shop, like a work, a metal workshop now. Um, or not a workshop, uh, a storefront, right? Like going into a, a shop in a video game or something like that. And, um, and I'm going to make like a sun, sort of like, um, an open skylight kind of room here. I guess is what we're going to call, we can call it, uh, a sunroom. I don't know what, what, what's that? What's the term here? And let's, oh, let's grab a light, a different light, I think. Cause the gold saucer one is a little too crazy looking maybe plus it's not i think if we can get a vent a vendor one here that'd be nice pendant light that sounds nice uh yeah the glade pendant light deluxe Let's see how are we on time oh we are already wow time flies oh my gosh it's already been an hour and a half Holy crap. How does that even happen? Is this too crazy? I think something simple like this, maybe. What does this look like? Um, okay, interior. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that matches with this kind of stuff, right? I think that works. That works pretty nicely. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that works really nice. That works surprisingly well. Okay. Can we dye these windows too, I wonder? Like if we can make them kind of match the darker color? Oh, we can, okay. Yeah, okay, so then we can, if we dye them black, I think that'll look really nice. It'll match sort of the darker stuff here, potentially. Okay, let's clean, before we go further, let's clean up the lines across the edges of the room here. I think we might want to do that before we put all the windows in or else it's going to get too chaotic too quickly. Also here, I can see these are off from each other. Da, 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 right. All right, we need this to be hidden. Right there. And then right there. I'll leave a little gap to imply that there's a door. There we go. I think we could even frame this out a little nicer. Oh, right, this needs to come forward to match. There we go, that's what we're, that's where it is. Uh, and we can use something better to frame this doorway. Maybe some shells or some chests or something. Uh, is this? No, that's crafted. What would be something very nice that's, um, Trying to think something that can help smooth this line out a bit. Because we can do the corner thing again. That we did before. Just like uh, right here, right? This corner. I think that could be an easy fix. To give us where this doorway would be. And uh, let's see. 
Maple says you you are building, so you're all you're almost done redoing your personal. Which build was your personal? Was it Figbrook? No, right? I don't think it was that. Or is wait, was your personal where you had um the Mushniks, uh the little shop of horrors? Pink Dino 2007. Hello! Hello! How are you? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. First time chatter, I see. that there we go the lights coming in hey see so here we go this is what i mean right so if we line the windows all around here look at that and of course it looks kind of kind of dumb because we're not dumb but it looks a little bad because of the, the just the plain white walls here but if we have the windows going all the way around i think it'll look really nice um a little bit of an issue of we need to figure out a natural way to have a spacer where these shop people walk into their area from. Ideally. Hmm. Um, and what I mean by that is I I try to always give like a a logical space, if possible, where the shopkeep theoretically walks into the room from. Because, I, I mean, you could argue that they just jump over the bar counter. Like, they just slide over the top. Which is not a not necessarily a problem, but I do like it when, if it's going to be sealed off all the way across here, if they can have, like, a little door or something that they would presumably walk through. But that's not logistically always possible um, in every single build. So, um, we might be able to do... Let's see... Oh, well, maybe like a glade door or something. I don't think that those are those are all. None of them are NPC vendor though. I think right. Unfortunately, we'd have to build one. Yeah, because I was thinking like you know you could do like this right. This would be an easy solution, and you just put one like here, right? And it'd be like oh okay, so they walk into there's like somewhere in the back right where they're all walking into from. Same thing here, right? There's a a door, and then they walk out to the little shop area here. Also, I think uh, what we're going to do is probably continue building these out, or building this place out on the next stream too. Like, I'm not going to finish it today. I'll finish part two of it uh, on Wednesday. Kind of taking it a bit easy this week, by the way, since I'm um, working on a bunch of projects as well as... We had a lot of stuff going on last week with the housing tour and then the two special events. So this week, um, I don't I don't want to overexert myself and push it to like, you know, really crazy long streams and stuff to give myself a bit of chance to work on some of the other stuffs. But yeah. Figbrook is my FC. So Maple says, Figbrook is my FC little shop in my husband's house. Oh, I see. Figbrook is the FC. Little Shop of Horrors was in your husband's house. Yours has been demolished since the end of May. Oh, okay. So we haven't seen yours yet, but you're working on it. I can't wait to see what you do, Maple. Everything you've done so far has been super cool and super creative and very different than I think a lot of other stuff that I've seen, which I, I really appreciate how innovative you are. And Pink Dino. Oh, so... You sh I showed up on your recommended, so you popped in. Wonderful. Well, glad to have you here. Uh, recommended tab like in Twitch. 
That's cool. Am I, am I popping up on people's recommended now? That's fun. Um, that's never happened before. And uh, yeah, I'm doing I'm doing well. I had I think as as I was saying, I had quite the marathon week um, this past like last week. So this week is taking it a little bit easier uh, to try to yeah just you know give myself a little bit of a, a space to create and work on some of my other projects and stuff that we're working on. Yeah, okay, see like this is this is this is the this is the part where like if someone was standing here, I feel like that's that starts to feel like way too cramped, right? Like how in the hell does this person even function in this little shop? Um so I think it would need to be pushed back a little bit at least. So I'll probably demolish the um the EK Bana setup that we have going on behind there to give us the free item slots and then I'll off stream probably rearrange this room just what uh to clean up some of the line work because you don't need to see me you know pixel perfect correcting the line work here of the metal work but i want to clean up the corners and clean up the spacing and everything and i'll just recreate this um and that way we can pick up here you know the next stream on wednesday and keep building it out and i think we could probably finish it by wednesday and yeah and then we'll have a second completely npc item only build and in case anyone again is uh, maybe like like pink pink dino here um or anybody else might be new to my stream uh this the previous uh all my previous housing streams can be found on my youtube channel i'll link it there in the twitch including uh one of the most popular streams i ever did that at least at least based off of the youtube statistics is a previous npc only vendor um sorry a previous NPC vendor item only build called the Scholastic Library, and you can see the VOD for that also on the YouTube channel there. And oh, and the housing tour VODs are coming soon. You can actually, the housing tours we just did last week, you can currently watch them here on Twitch, but they will be moving over to YouTube um, where I'll actually be able to put proper timestamps and all that stuff, and that's really where they'll eventually sort of long term live. <clears throat> Let's see here. <laughs> Dude, a marathon. Scarlet Rose. Hello, same. You're recommended on mine too. Whoa! Well, hello, Scarlet Rose. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here as well. That's awesome. Oh, hello, housing friends. Aramore. Welcome, Aramore. I don't, I don't know if I said hi to you earlier, Aramore. Yes, totally. Hello, hello. Yeah, I'm so glad that you, uh, so many people like uh, Werewolf. I'm glad that you liked all the prominent special openings last week. And then, um, yeah. Maple, I'm so glad too that you, you decided to, to come out to some, some of the prominent stuff. Yeah, um, so Scarlet and, and uh, Pink Dino, because you're new here, let's, uh, here, I'll link... So I um so I do streaming I stream housing every Monday and Wednesday from 4 to 6 p.m. PST. So what that's what you're uh, watching right now. But I also own and I built a nightclub called Prominence and I just linked the website for that right there in the Twitch chat. You can take a look. And um so I DJ there. I DJ at my own nightclub as well as around several nightclubs within 14 and um and I run the nightclub. So actually this Wednesday will be another opening of Prominence. So, highly recommend you come check that out. It's a build that's very personal to me. <clears throat> because I built it. Uh, and uh, and just, it's it's a really great space. Especially maybe if you've never... I don't know, are you guys... Have you guys ever dipped your toe into the nightlife scene in 14? If you haven't, man, you're in for a treat. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on there. And um, one of which is, uh, yeah, the nightclub that I'm running, and you should absolutely come check it out and come meet some of the people from this stream, some of my stream community, and uh, come hang out and stuff. Scarlet Rose says, oh, you work at some clubs. Okay, so you're well aware then of, of the nightlife. Um, Pink Dino, thank you for the sub. 
Welcome. Yeah, welcome, welcome. There's a whole catalog. So basically the entire catalog of every housing stream I've done so far is on the YouTube channel. And then... Um, Yeah, so you can take a look at like watch rewatch any of the other stuff. Uh, you haven't, you may have, you may not have known about it until now, but now you do, Pink. So now you can come join us. Joe Scale, cool. Werewolf, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So this Wednesday, from here, I can even, I even have. I even have a flyer prepared for this. So, um, I think I, wait, hold on, let me make sure, I think I show the right one. Boom, here we go. Um, so that's, yeah, this Wednesday, August 3rd, 8 to 10 p.m. PST, which is 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. EST at Prominence Nightclub, my nightclub. I'll be DJing and you should all come out and come check it out. And it's in Lavender Beds too, so you can easily just make a character, like literally the day of, if you wanted to, and run to the nightclub if you wanted to just, for example, just pop in to check it out. So Scarlet, like I know it's, you said you don't have a character over on NA data centers, but uh, yeah, you could easily make a character and just come pop in and, and check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's it's a great time. It's a chance for me to share my musical uh, sort of sensibility with you all, and um, and and we all get to hang out, party together, listen to some great music, uh, and then and then we can reconvene and and build awesome stuff together on on these housing streams. So get a little bit of both worlds: the creative side of stuff, and then the uh, party side of stuff. You know. And I like that we can do both. Get you some friends who can do both. Uh, da, 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 da. No, I need three windows here, six windows there. Probably complete the window loop all the way around, right? We might as well. Um, which makes me think, can we just slam one of these in back here too? Place from storage. Might as well just complete the loop all the way around here. Hopefully we can hide the counters, though, behind the elevator door. Yeah, we might as well. Otherwise, it's kind of weird that the, the, the green just stops right there. Create the natural lip there. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm just I'm kind of visualizing all of this in my head and trying to verbalize through what we're all going to do for all of this stuff. Let's see. Oh, hey, Werewolf, uh, thank you so much for that subscription. And uh, enjoy the glow sticks. So, um, yeah, in case anybody, in case you didn't know too, uh, yeah, for when you subscribe, uh, I, I made custom emotes, as in I, I designed them myself. Um, and yeah, there. So right now we have hello, hello, which is sort of like my, my greeting, and then we also have six different glow sticks that you get to use, and they're super versatile, and you can mix and match them in a bunch of different ways and use them to just be hype, especially out at nightlife and stuff. Uh, I know some people out there got some some pretty cool combos. Hey, uh, some of my uh, some of the stream regulars here, you guys want to throw up some of your your glow stick combos that you guys use? There you go. Werewolf's got the idea. Already rocking and rolling. Also, Pink Dino and Scarlet, thank you both for the follows. Very glad to have you here. I'm, I'm glad you found me. I'm glad. Thanks, thanks Twitch algorithm for recommending my stream to you guys. So happy to have you here. I am proud to say that we have a really, really sweet, really, um, really creative but also really welcoming a uh, little stream community we've got going on here. So um, yeah, really, really happy. Glad to have you here and that you found us and we're going to do a lot of cool stuff. Housing, more housing tours, um, more of these kinds of builds. 
and just like different kinds, all kinds of different builds. I think, um, you know, variety. I'm a variety streamer in a sense, a variety housing, housing and nightlife stream. Scarlet, I see you saying, yeah, Scarlet's uh, very much, you say, I'm very interested in NPC only builds. I don't tend to see too many, but haven't truly looked very hard. To be honest, that's the thing is, is I think most people don't do NPC only item builds because generally speaking, I mean, you, when you, by the point that you get into housing, you probably have access to crafters and obviously you have access to the market board. So you could easily just buy more stuff. Like why limit yourself? But I just like the challenge of it. I think it's kind of fun to, um, you know, to try something a little different and see what you can make. So like right now, everything in, everything except for the FC chest and summoning bell, I think, are in view, are, are all NPC only. Everything you see in here is this all NPC only items. And like, look what you can do. Look what you can do with just NPC only vendor items. So like minimal budget, minimal, in fact, I don't think I've used any float glitches so far, and we already have all of this, right? It's basically seamless too. I don't, there's like no text, barely any texture glitching going on. The only thing is the place from storage uh, little glitch thing that I used to put the windows up here. And I didn't even need to do that. I could have placed them normally, but I just wanted to nudge them a little bit more and I'm still gonna fix them. They're a little off. You can see there's that little bit showing and I don't like that. I want to push that up a little bit and push these out. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun challenge. I like, we're definitely gonna do more of these builds. Cause so something I've started to realize, there is some builds that I have in my catalog of things I wanna build that are really complicated, but that I think would take like, you know, 10 streams worth of, of building. And I feel like it just gets a little too slow. Uh, so not that we'll never do those, but I definitely feel like this uh, something that's great for stream is to just get in the habit of creating, right? Like I think, I think that's something that's really important for creatives is that sometimes you just, need to just create on a regular basis, even if it's not your masterpiece. Um, I know, I don't know, does anyone else struggle with this? Where like you get a little hung up sometimes where you're like, ah, like this isn't good enough. Or like, I don't think this is like that as interesting as it, as some of my other stuff. So like maybe it's not worth like doing, but then sometimes you get so caught up on trying to create the masterpiece that you just don't end up creating anything at all. And so it'd be better to just do the reps per se, similar to going to the gym, right? Um, or something, right? Like sometimes you just gotta be like, yeah, I just gotta like make stuff. And then getting in the habit of making stuff is a habit in itself. And then you're kind of like naturally get in creative mode. Um, and through creating stuff, like, like in this case, there's things that I'm figuring out here, like this whole like curve, like putting this little curvature in here. I've worked a lot with these bookshelves and it's never occurred to me to make this little curvature before. But now that I th thought about it, I think I'm gonna use that in something else. Because like, look how nice that is. It's just, it's, instead of just having like all just like right angles, just having that little curve in there. Oh, I think it adds so much more character and such an elegance to this that wouldn't be there. Um, and I wouldn't have thought about it unless I had done this NPC only item build, right? So like, Sometimes just creating is is the way to go. Scarlet, yeah, you resonate with that? I feel that, like the frustrations of being a perfectionist. Like I think it's like t t different different evils, right? Like I know that people who aren't perfectionists often say, "Wow, I wish I had the patience that you had to like bother to, you know, like I wish I had the patience to correct every little seam and make everything so absolutely pixel perfect, right? And then on the flip side, I think perfectionists see people who who are able to just let go of things and they see how prolific they are in terms of creating. And you're just like, whoa, like, yo, how do you how do you just make so much art? Um, like, I wish I could make so like that much art, but I feel like I make I make one art piece every three months and you've made like 10, right? And sometimes 
I've seen uh, you know other creatives get really good really fast because they're just making so much art, right? Like if you, the reality is, if you go, if you're like learning how to draw or doing even housing, and you start out and you're like, I will never put a piece down until it's perfect. I will never release a build until it's absolutely perfect. That might work, but chances are you're gonna get so hung up on it being perfect that you're never gonna put anything out or it's gonna take you like a year. Meanwhile, the person who just makes 30 builds or something like that, and maybe they're not all that great, but they're gonna get to a, they're gonna like have such a bigger catalog of design patterns to pull from. They're gonna have made so many more mistakes that they then can learn from, like, and they will get very good very quickly. Even if that means that in, in the middle, some of the stuff they make isn't necessarily like, I don't know what you'd call it, like maybe a gold standard or like super high end or something. But, um, but like if, if especially if the goal is to just get better at an art form, you just gotta do stuff. You just gotta practice and do things. Oh, Pink Dino, yeah, thanks for coming along. I should have maybe mentioned this earlier, but um, I think Pink Dino's already gone maybe, but so we also, I have a, I have a Discord and it's um it's kind of where like I coordinate all of the housing streams as well the DJ sets and, and club openings. So uh, Pink Dino, if you happen to still be here, as well as uh, Scarlet uh, or anybody new who doesn't know, feel free to join in the Discord, and you can get notifications for when I go live, whether it be for housing streams or for DJ stuff. And uh, you can also it's you can share your builds and stuff there too. We talk about housing and share our builds and ask for advice and things. So if you're interested, there's the there's the link to join the Discord. Dang. I'll have to yeah, you know, I'll have to move this off stream using some placement stuff. Ta -ta -ta. Okay, so what do we need? We need a bunch more windows, another vernant partition, or another vernant shelf partition here. We need something to clean up the line here, ideally. Although I think that can actually be achieved by just pushing these out a little bit. Wait, let's see. Yeah, see if we just... Uh, what do I mean by this? I think what we can do is... If we can just get this where... There. This line disappears. I think we need it like... Can we get it where? Ah, uh, oh uh, no. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, something like that, but that's not really clean. Okay, we can, gotta figure out a way to clean that up. To make this door, this elevator doors, or whatever we decide to put here, really look like a, a clean doorway. Do, 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 do. How's everybody, everybody I know who's building right now? How's your build been going over the last two hours or so? Can you believe it's already been two hours? This is the um, flow, right? Artistic flow, where like time just gets all kinds of really wacky. Time be flying. Yeah, exactly, right? Like. 293 out of 300. Oh, so close, Maple. Oh man, so are you are you like penny pinching right now? Like trying to penny pinch your items and like try to figure out like the little bits of clutter or something or 
or do you know exactly where they need to go and you're just putting the the the, the bits in place time flies oh you posted a whipliar cool yeah yeah Um, ooh, that's so cool looking. I'm glancing here in, in my Discord at uh, the work in progress that Liara just posted. Damn, that looks so cool. Wow. Oh, I can't wait to see what you do with this. Yeah, that looks really, really cool, Liara. Okay, window assistance, courtesy of Danny, too. Let's see. Oh, and I see we got some new people popping on in the server here, so... Welcome, welcome. If, if you're in the stream and you can hear me, uh, and you're one of the people who just who just jumped into the server, uh, Christ of You, Gauze, and uh, Leonie Leon, welcome to that. Welcome to our server. If you want access to the housing section, uh, pop on into that housing unlock near the very top uh, in the registration section. And there's also the notifications up there too, so you can opt into any notifications you want. And if you want to unlock the housing section, um, there's just a few additional kind of rules and uh, guidelines that I wanted to establish for anybody who's specifically doing the housing stuff. And uh, yeah, then you can pop in on in there and share your work, talk talk about us, talk with housing. Oh, I am tongue tying myself. Talk about housing with us. There we go. And it'll be it'll it'll be awesome. I wonder, can we do? Oh, 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 I just realized. Yeah, so one other thing we need to do. We probably are going to want to hide the books who are that are peeking through here. Because I think it'd be cleaner if we didn't see them. So we'll probably... I wonder... Could you use, like... The marble? Could we use, like, a bunch of marble partitions? And make it, like, super clean looking? Right, so like if you use like marble to make with with the curve, and then put the marble all around, and to make this super clean looking, white and bright looking thing. I don't know if that's the same kind of curvature. That's this is, it's not um, quite a one to one. Right? Can we get maybe? Yeah, maybe like that. Have to play around with that and see if we can if we can get the curve working. Somehow, I think cleaning up the lines here so we only see the railing going all the way around would be really nice and clean and and very interesting looking. What do we have to do that with partitions? Let's look at our partition options. We could also use other shelves. Other bookshelves and stuff flip backwards. Because the partitions might be obvious, but I think... Um, like white screens? Let's see. White screens, partitions... Okay, let's see. Because this white screens, the back of them, has this really nice wood pattern. Which I think could be very nice. But it might be tough to... Oh, yeah. It might be tough. You need to place them from storage to even get them close enough to the wall. Stage panels are an obvious choice. Let's see what the marble partition looks like. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Like this, right? That does look pretty cool. Oh, that's kind of cool with where it... it has a little trim there. 
It doesn't really match though, the metal work with the marble thing. I'd like to, I'd like something that ideally matches a bit better, like maybe with using these kinds of things. Right? Like if we use a bunch of these flip backwards, for example. And then we could really make a clean looking like that. There you go. Right? Figure out a way to layer these together. And then you have this kind of thing going on. That'd be, that'd be nice with like the little extra wood slatting here. Go all the way around the edge with these. There'll be a lot of uh, slots used up just in the framework, but I think it would look really nice. Here's like another option. It's not tall enough though. Ideally, we want something that's tall enough to match these things. Scholastic bookshelves. Yeah, see, like those are so tall. Okay, what are these like? Oh, oh, that lines up just right. Let's see how this looks. Oh, maybe we're getting somewhere here. Okay. Right? Like, it, there, there, that's something interesting. Can we get, uh, a little, little complicated looking, but I could see how that could work. Right, like that. Uh, change the color. Let's try black. What does that look like, right? Like, it's black and gold kind of look. And do... Well, I don't like that the fact that the gold is kind of clashing with the, um, the silver. Ideally, we get more silver. To be perfectly honest, we might just need to go with, um, stage panels. It might just be nice and clean and easy to work with. Let's see. I know exactly what's going where. This is maple. I think I'll even have three slots left. Ooh. I know exactly what's going on. Yeah, I'll have three slots left. So, do you often, maple, do you often budget extra slots at the very end so that you have some wiggle room to like add things on the fly? Or are you gonna like find exactly a purposeful use for those three slots. What I mean by that is, I know sometimes people would like to, for example, put seasonal stuff up, right? So they'll leave like 10 slots or something open so that way they could decorate on the fly using like your extra 10 slots or something like that. As opposed to just 100% building the whole thing out um, and filling up every single slot. Oh, these wood, wood pillars. Let's see what that looks like. That's kind of interesting, right? I wonder if we had like a little, um, like some wood pillars to like frame out some of the stuff. Like, oh, there's an idea. Yeah. Like not even necessarily coming all the way down. Just, um, we had like, just to help, just to help make the edges smooth out a little bit here. That's kind of cool. Arguably same thing here. I wish we had more access to more pillars with NPC only items, but it is what it is. What if we hide most of this and only have, you know, just the corner sticking up here, right? Like, right like that. It's kind of nice. Could easily I could swing that into Yeah, that kind of matches the darker woods. Maybe we do lean into the darker wood look because of the ceiling. Just just continue the dark wood, dark wood, dark wood. Let's try dyeing these. What what looks like it fits? Probably like chocolate or something. Yeah, like, there you go. That that matches. That would match over here, too. Okay, I think we might run with that. So, a bunch of, like, mole brown or something. 
trying to match it with the overall wood tone. This actually might end up being kind of like a cottage like looking thing, right? With all the darker woods and stuff, um, as opposed to a metalwork laboratory. But you know, that's the kind of, that's the fun about the NPC item only is sometimes just based off of the way the items sort of up appear within our, what we're working on, um, things start to take shape. Raid time. Yo, good luck on the raid then, Teague. We'll see you next time. See you on Wednesday, probably. And Scarlet Rose says, I'm a procrastinator with housing. I had a house for three months and did nothing with it. Then went ham on it for a week and finished my restaurant. Now in a procrastination phase again for my FC house. It happens. It totally happens. I, um, my nightclub prominence, well, actually, okay, I didn't procrastinate on this, but like my nightclub took me six months to build. Um, and I was experimenting like crazy on that. But before I before I latched onto the idea of it being a nightclub, I was stuck on it for like probably like a month and a half. Um, and like it was going to be like a tavern or something like an adventure tavern. Same thing with my FC house. I was stuck for months on and off just trying to figure out something with that. And I couldn't get it to work. So there was several weeks and stuff where I would just go without really working on it. Sometimes that's that's with art, you know, in general, I think sometimes you just got to walk away. You just got to like give it a break for a second, walk away and then come back to it like a week or two, uh, maybe a week later or even a couple days, uh, a couple hours later. Right. Just reset yourself a little bit. And uh, Maple saying, I wish I always end up maxing out even when I finish with slots left over. A little clutter here. Yeah, yeah. A little clutter and hidden lighting goes a long way too. So I think um, very understandable that you'd want to use up all the slots. And like, that's the thing about clutter is um, like at prominence, that's uh, for any of you, those of you who were at prominence at uh, the special event this past Friday, and you saw the photo backdrop that I made for the ASEAN theme that we had. Like those slots are me repurposing clutter and stuff around prominence. So like little things like bottles, that, bottles sitting on tabletops at the bar and that kind of stuff can get, you know, they're really nice to have uh, as immersive little touches, but sometimes sacrifices need to be made to make, make little adjustments. So, and I think they're worth it. Taking out those little clutter things just for that special event allowed me to make the photo backdrop. And um, I thought that, I don't know, I think that's kind of fun. You know, it's fun to have those little things. Ooh, here's an idea, right? So looking at Maple's reminding me too of like thinking about lighting, right? So like lighting in the build, right? And I think that's actually kind of nice with the, like the metal work. Um, if we just hide, I think we can even hide this even more. Like just a little bit like that. Or something something like that you know and then we can just have this little bit of light peeking or a uh, little bit of lights almost like recessed lighting they'll be shining out through here i think that'd be fun or we could even hide all the lighting com well no i i don't know i don't know that we want to hide lighting completely because we need lighting where the customer here would be standing to be able to talk to our um our bartend or not bartenders are housing NPC people here. I wonder what we can do with the shop fronts that we're going to make here, right? Maybe one is like a bookstore, one of them is like food, and then one of them is like weapons or something. I don't know what we have. Let's see what, what do we have available to, um, to actually create like a shop, you know? Um, trying to think like, these are storefronts, but what's at the stores? Um, so tea sets, so here's food. So okay, we could have like tea, uh, like a tea and drinks counter maybe over here. So like a bar straight ahead, a little bit of a food stall or something. Um, oops, uh, come on, there you go. 
what do we have here? Asm step things, so logs, documents. Oh yeah, so yeah, like maybe, uh, maybe like documents, right? Like as if it's like um, getting some kind of like forms or something signed, like an adventurer's board, like like acquiring. Um, missions or something, right? Mission board. Because I could, I could make the argument that like, when you're here, maybe you need to just make a pit stop in. This could be like, um, as if your guild, the Adventurers Guild or something like that, right, has like a little bit of a hub over here in uh, Kugane, and they say like, oh, there's like we have not a secret shop, but like a little mini rest stop where you can acquire new missions, stock up on some potions, and uh, maybe do a little bit of research on the local happenings, right? So I think that would be cool. So maybe we have mission counter here, right? Like getting getting your new missions and stuff. Uh, so, so paperwork and some things like that, if you want a mission board. Over here, we can have maybe some food and supplies, like potions and that kind of thing. And then over here can be books. So like, I need research on the local flora and fauna and the the what's happening in this region. Since I may be new to uh, this apartment here is in Kugane, uh, or rather Shirogane. And so that way, that makes sense, right? You'd, you'd pop into this apartment and you'd be like, hey, I just moved into this area. I'm from the mist. So I don't really know anything about here. But I just got Stormblood content or whatever. I'm helping with the Alamegan resistance. And um, I want to know what some missions are here. I need to make some money. I need to stock up on potions. And I need research on what's happening here. Um, there, that's the term. Ledgers. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, for ledgers, got to keep the books accurate. Yeah, exactly. What do you guys think about that? I think, I think, because I think we can accomplish that too using NPC items. Because we have like the scholastic the the bookshelves and all the piles of tomes which we use from the scholastic library so we could put the book thing there we got the uh potion bottles like i think did i see there's elixir right like elixir bottles right so there's potion bottles we have spirits um you know maybe grocery bags yeah uh empty boxes right yeah so we have like effectively like adventurers potions and supplies and then we can have uh, the stacks of documents and stuff over here. Like people getting hunt marks or whatever, presumably they're they're trying to go for here. Can even use the mannequins to have... Um, can use the mannequins here to have like a little armory station, right? Where people can get supplies. Or like gear. Okay, I think that's that's good. I'll have to, I'll have to prepare a few, some small things for next stream, so that way we don't have to. Well, yeah, I'll have to think through this a little bit, and I can plan, and that way we can more execute on the plan next stream, and I'll explain thinking through it on Wednesday. Da, 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 da. Uh, okay, what else is gonna be needed? So yeah, we need. So we need what's in the shops. We need to fix the ceiling area up top here. We need lighting, and we need uh, to clean up sort of the the walls a little bit. Although honestly, if the books are a little bit exposed, I think that's not the end of the world. I think. They actually looks it actually does look pretty natural with just like little bits of research or, or books and stuff popping out of the walls. Okay, so uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe some some dyes, right? In the interest of keeping NPC only, too, we'll try to use only the junk monger dies. So was that mole brown here? I think it was. 
Perfect, so we can use the mole brown and try to dye all of these mole brown. But I'm going to keep them lighter color right now because while I'm moving them around, it's a little bit nicer to see it in the lighter colors. Beautiful. Yeah, there we go. That's not that's not that's pretty good for for a first bit out the gate. Let's um I'm gonna put the more some more windows up here. And we can always uh bring them down later. Just so we can get the vibe of what this the full scope of this thing looks like. Right? Up, 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 up. Man, store, store. That's kind of annoying that you need to place from storage to get them even placed correctly. But that's fine. Okay, like that maybe? Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that's frustrating. Oh, that's actually, no, actually that's not, that's fine. Cause we're gonna put the little corner in there. Right, so we're probably gonna go like this. I'll do this really quickly and then we can perfect it always later. Very messy, but so people see the idea. And then we're gonna take this. Uh, what was it? The pillars, right? Um, 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 is it here? Is it this is where the pillars are? Pillar. Again. Maybe it's in. Other? There it is, hanging pillars. Do we have any of these? Nope. One, two, for now. Just like that, and like that. I don't like the gold showing there, but it's okay. Okay, it's basically that though, right? There we go, yeah. Let's get one more cracked. Oh, um, one more cracked arch window. At least one more. Two. I think we need three. Uh, grade snap, cracked, boom. Okay.
Okay, and let's actually store these. And place these all same way. Pillar. Cracked. There we go. Grr. Picking these things up. I think these actually need to be lifted up one so that they're even. Yeah, they're not even. Ah, come on. It's okay. This is quick, easy fix. There we go. Was it like that? No, it's too far. It's like this, right? There it is. That's the even one. Okay. And one more in the middle. Boom. Now we get the pillars. we can make that off-grid snap and frame right. Are these not the same? They're not equidistant from each other, are they? Ah, uh, they're not, yeah. I don't like the gold showing, so we'll actually go with the grid snap version. Just to get that little bit right there. We'll fix it later. Boom. Maybe we could put some basic lighting in here. Lighting. Floor lamp. One. Then I think we have a bunch of these already, maybe. You know, see. Okay.
Alpine. I'm gonna go fast travel to tomorrow. Sounds good. We'll see you on Wednesday, hopefully. Werewolf. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for this, coming by the stream. I'm gonna wrap up too in a moment here. I think um, if we're just getting to the last little bit here. I just kind of wanted to see what this might look like with a little bit of lighting in here, which I realized this is not going to stick on the walls because these aren't actually really walls. So. Oh, but they can stick right here. That's cool. Ooh, that's nice, actually. With, um... Like that. Just in the corners. I like that. There we go. Okay, we'll make this even more elaborate next time. But for this time around, just today on the stream, we're going to end it pretty much right here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Ta-da! Hey, not bad for um, NPC-only items, right? Like... I think, yeah, that's gonna call it for today on the stream. We'll pick up on Wednesday. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I... It doesn't look like it's... You're really... Um scrape in the bottom of the barrel or anything like that for, for stuff. I think that looks pretty good. I would be pretty, pretty pleased if, uh, if I walked into a space like this, I'd say, wow, that's, you know. I think I hope to prove with, uh, with this sort of, these NPC only items, item builds, um, that you don't need a lot of money to do housing if you don't want to Use a lot of money. But all that being said, <laughs> it often it does take a lot of money to do some of the, the fancy stuff with all the nicer items, but... But so to say, boom, here you go. Proof that you do not need a lot of money to make something interesting, at least. Something visually interesting. Let's try that again. Okay. Uh... Am I even looking at the screen? There we go. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for coming to the stream today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, maybe got a little inspired, um, or it's, yeah, just even found out about the stream. Like Scarlet, uh, again, really glad that you got recommended to uh, come to the stream. And whoever else may be out there uh, watching that is either here for the first time or kind of just getting into all this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that we'll see you all on Wednesday both for the housing stream from 4 to 6 p.m. PST, which you can see like the little card there in the bottom left hand of the gameplay screen. And then at nighttime after the housing stream, uh, the card even just updated, perfect. Uh, 8 to 10 p.m. PST will be DJ, my DJ set at my nightclub, Prominence Nightclub. And yeah, I hope to see many of you there. I think it'll be a really fun time and um, we can even, we get to meet in person in the game, so to say. So, okay, anyway. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you guys on Wednesday.
Good evening and good night, everyone.